In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a sticky header with CSS. So a sticky header is a header that's at the top of some content that when you scroll down, the actual header scrolls with the content too. So in other words, it sticks to where the top of the content is. So normally in a document flow, the element will move out of sight once you've scrolled past it. But for things like menu items and navigation bars, you might want them to follow the rest of the content down the page so the user doesn't have to scroll back to the top of the page to get access to them. So we can actually set the sticky header up really quickly with just a couple of CSS properties. And we'll apply these directly to the header element that you can see has got a yellow background. And you can see we just set that element to have a position of sticky and say where we want to stick it to, which in this case we're going to put it to the top of the containing element. So now if we scroll on our page, you can see that header element stays at the top of its parent container. So it's always visible no matter how much of the content we've scrolled. So as you can see, it's really simple to set up, but the browser support for the sticky position is a little bit limited. As you can see, it's completely not supported in Internet Explorer. And some of the other major browsers also have problems with the position sticky value. So you can go ahead and use the value of sticky in the position property as long as you're not relying on it to be a feature of your site that's going to be required for all users. 